Okay, go. Hi, welcome back to another episode of I Heard That. I'm Tanya. And I'm Tina. And I'm Charles Ed. Welcome back to our show where we kind of go over um, different books, books that we've read, authors that we're that are new to us that we wanted to introduce to you guys. And we discuss the books and we have a little fun all in between. If you like what you hear, then please be sure to subscribe to our channel and the link is before. So today's book review is... The Murders of Molly Southborn by Tade Thompson. The rule is simple. Don't bleed. For as long as Molly Southborn can remember, she's been watching herself die. Whenever she bleed, whenever she die, uh, whenever she bleeds, another Molly is born. Identical to herself in every way. And it has it's set on the intent of destruction. Molly knows every way to kill herself, but she also knows that as long as she survives, she'll be hunted. No matter how well she follows the rules, eventually the Molly will find her. Can Molly find a way to stop the tide of blood, or will she meet her end at the hand of a girl who looks just like her? At the publisher's request, this title of <laughs> <laughs> Okay, y'all, it's gonna be some bloopers in between there, but because we like to have a lot of fun. We're sisters. Right. So we just gonna have a lot of fun with right. it. So sit down and join the conversation. So this book uh, was my, so what we do is, uh, between the three of us, we make a couple of recommendations for different books we like to see. And as Tanya said earlier, we were trying to look at, you know, uh, introduce books that we hadn't read before or some of our um, new authors or, or other authors or authors we liked before. And so I saw this book and it's right up my alley. So it's kind of, kind of weird, kind of sci-fi, fantasy, horror kind of, kind of books that I tend to, uh, tend to like. And Tade Thompson is a award-winning publisher, author, um, and he has gotten like a, a, this like unbelievable accolades in general for the books that he's written and he's also gotten a lot of praise for this book. So I was like extremely excited to like dive into, get into the book and see it. I was uh, horrified. <laughs> hated it. I wow. was I was it wasn't quite what I expected. Uh, it wasn't what I it wasn't what I expected because of his other books that I read that I truly did like that had a lot of African mythology kind of woven into modern times and everything else, and so I expected something different than what this book was. And there were parts of it that I found really intriguing, but then I found a lot of it very tedious. So the in the introduction, it talks about how she has to learn how to kill herself. So what did you guys think the first time that Molly had to deal with that? Killing herself. It is so hard for me to depict how I really felt about this book because I really didn't understand anything. And I had to keep going back, but that seemed to be such a painstaking feat. So pretty much I just poured myself straight through it so I can get done with it. I tried not to remember anything about the Molly's. <laughs> Nothing. I, um, okay, so, I actually like sci-fi, but as you can see, you're gonna hear, this was not one of my favorite books in a sci-fi sci genre. I actually really like sci-fi, you know, we're, I'm a Marvel geek kind of girl and a DC kind of girl, and, you know, Octavia Butler was one, is one of my favorite authors, so sci-fi doesn't bother me. Um, I don't, I, because I didn't know this author, I had no expectations yeah. when I started it. So I wasn't thinking, like I kind of had said, had the big setup, but this is going to be right. good. And I, I had no expectations. I wasn't expecting anything except for to read the story. And about five, and, and let me just say this, because I read books really quick. And I looked in my Kindle and they said, oh, this book is only going to take you an hour to read. And I said, cool, I can knock this out. This is going to be an easy read, breezy, breezy. It took me more like three hours because I had to stop that much. Because every five or six pages, I was like, is this book going to end? What is happening? And I understood the concept of what was going on to a certain extent. I don't know if, but I, it didn't resonate with me. Maybe that's a better yes. way to say it. Now, to answer your question, right. Tina, I can answer it in the abstract. What would it be like to kill Tanya? Woo. 
Like that right. concept alone would just blow my mind, right? right? Because if I'm killing myself, I know my own strengths and my weaknesses. Right. I know how I think, what I like. If I'm going to tend to lead to the left or to the right, I think, you know, you're psychological. You know you, right? right. Absolutely. And so I think that that is such an intriguing I think that's such an intriguing concept of what it would be like to kill yourself. But I don't know if I necessarily got the feel of that. Like that, the excitement of me reading of what that would be, I don't know if I pulled that emotion from the book. It, it, it was kind of like for me, um, the idea that, and this starts, the having to kill herself or kill these other Mollies uh, started when she was a child. Right. So this is something that she's grown up with, with having to, having to deal with. Right. And... Her going through normal teenage stuff. I want to be with boys, or I want to have this situation, or the fact that she has a cycle every yes. month. But and the, the basic premise of the book is every time she bleeds, a Molly is born. So there's a lot of that. It yeah. was it, it it was one of those moments where you're like, oh my god, this is gonna be just so good. But the way that the content was delivered, and I don't know if it was the kind of you you were still trying to understand. Because it wasn't like straightforward. It, it didn't kind of go, no. here's what happened. Right. This is what she's dealing with. It, it kind of like out. pieces of that were revealed as you were going through the book. And so you have to keep reading and act and you have to keep reading and remember what you read before to try to put together the story of how she got there. So I don't want to go into, into too much detail because I don't want to spoil it for anyone else that may like it. Again, he's one of my favorite authors. I, I've enjoyed so many of his other books. I, this was just a, it was a surprise to me. And I recognize now that in some of his other, other books, he does the same thing. But the character development is so rich in it, it may not have the same impact. Mm -hmm. So it was, um, it, it was difficult to get through. And I, I remember, I, I think I was like, oh, chapter, I think I was like, oh, chapter one or two or something. <laughs> And I said to myself, oh, my God. Why there... am I really there? <laughs> <laughs> I said to myself, oh, my God, Charlesette and uh, Tanya are not going to like this book. <laughs> and, um, so, and, like, and like I said, it wasn't because it's a sci-fi no, book. No, that's what it I was about to say. Because that's I had read Octavia right. with another sci-fi. Right. And I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> I could follow it. You know, it didn't take me back. This book made me want to throw it out the window. And that was at the first chapter. Yeah. And then I also realized that um, I like books with, where the story is unfolded through dialogue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's the point because it was, and it's also hard with the protagonist in this book because even though the book is surrounded by this individual person, there were her, her parents and mm -hmm. other people that were involved that had, who also were very, very strong leads. Mm -hmm. And so really the story at first seemed to be about her, but really it was about her mother. Mm -hmm. And so that switched back and forth. So the protagonist kind of got lost to me a little bit. And I, I, I get what you just said. So right. I, was, I, I like um, books that kind of unfold through the dialogue. And this one kind of unfolded through narration. Right. And so for me, that's a little bit harder mm -hmm. for me. Maybe because I can't. I, and I think maybe I, I don't like it as much because when it's dialogue, it's like watching TV. Like I can see the movie running through my head. Mm -hmm. When it's nothing but narration, it's harder for me to kind of, I don't know, Right, not necessarily wrap my mind around it, but it doesn't flow the same way. And I know that's just a personal preference, but because this book was more narration driven than dialogue driven, it was just yet another. Like, and I was loving it though. I told him, I said, when I was reading the book, after I finished it, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to really discuss this. And I was walking around my office thinking of all of the ways that I did not like this book. <laughs> so. <laughs> That is how I, I, Let me recount all the ways that I did not, and the, the dialogue was one of the, yeah. the ways that I did not like this book. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't, you're right. I think that being able to identify or at least try to understand the world that she was in, and again, I love world building, and maybe that was another one of the problems was that there was no world building. Mm -hmm. So the world building that did happen happened towards the end of the book, so you didn't know why you were here. Right. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like, okay, there were, uh, and they explained it towards the end of the book of why this could have happened, right? Or what, right. what, what instituted that. It would have been good to have that at the beginning of the book because you could have understood. And in this case, you didn't know why. Like, you didn't know what, like, seriously, mm -hmm. like, there was so much stuff that was right. of a current time or, or, or timeline or a world that you 
that you thought was believable or real world, I, I, right. guess, I guess the you know guess the term to use this real world, and you didn't find out to much, 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 much later in the book that it wasn't. Right. So I think that was kind of a, I think that was kind of. A, so besides the fact that you hated the book, y'all, because I don't know, you might have said, you might have mentioned that. <laughs> and like, once or twice. did not pick that up through the course of my <laughs> okay, so, okay, so what was it is, all right, so the whole thing with the cutting herself and the bleeding and fighting for survival, it just kept throwing me. And I kept envisioning me having a menstrual cycle. And every time I had this cycle, more of myself kept being produced. And then I had to kill myself. During my cycle, I don't want to be bothered with anybody. Let alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let alone running around trying to kill something that has come from my body. So I just could not throw myself into this. Down to when she started cutting herself to learn how to kill herself more efficiently. I was like, what the Kentucky Fried Chicken is this? <laughs> Hated it. Every aspect. Um, I, I can't imagine what it would be like to continue to continuously have to kill myself. But she seemed a little bitter too. Yeah, she's tired, worn out. Yes. And I imagine every time you kill yourself, a little bit of mm -hmm. yourself also dies. The part because, of the main story. right because there has to be a tie in through that right. emotion of killing right. yourself. Right. right. The premise is so juicy. It God, is. The premise but did not do it. <laughs> right. The premise is so 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 juicy. And it's so intriguing or whatever else. And so I really wanted to like dig into this book and I just felt like it just didn't it it, it was like an empty feeling. Like I like you, you go, Oh my god, I really want this and then you taste it and you're like, ah, it's not quite what I wanted. Right. So let's not read now another page. But yet because I had to give you this review. <laughs> Force myself. But based upon um Tina's Tina's assessment, I might read another Tay Thomas just to give him yeah. Another shot. Um, I'm not totally. I'm not totally uh, turned off by it just yet. And sometimes I think that, particularly with authors or even like a pilot for a movie, sometimes you got to give it two or three to see if it's just the book. Because sometimes it can have an off book, or if it's the author themselves that you just really can't get into. Okay. So the other thing I, w I will say, this author in this book has won major I know. awards. He won and the 2017 got... Shirley Award. Right, yeah, and it's got know. and it's got significant stars and people. The reviews, the reviews are just spectacular, and people talk about like how interesting and, and intriguing the book is. So you know, you don't have to be like us. Maybe it's maybe it's just us. I don't yeah. know. Maybe we're it's just, the way our mama raised us. I don't know. It just did not seem to fit well for us. We're just real women who like to read books. And then we give you our honest opinion about right. that. Sometimes it's not, you know, it's, I'm, I, I haven't, I'm not a, a critic in that regard to where I was like, oh my goodness, I have my master's in English and I've been reading this and the subtext of this book and the symbolism on page 29 versus, I just want to get into it. Right. Right. <laughs> right. I have a master's degree and I don't like that book. <laughs> I don't plan on reading any more of these books. That turned me off just that bad. No, I'll try it again. I'll try. I'll, 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 I'm I'll, I'll try it again. I'll, I'm, I'll definitely try gonna, again. I'm definitely going to try him more because I know the other books I've written, I've, I've read by him, have been great. And I've enjoyed them. So I will definitely go back to some of those books. As I have never written or heard of him, <laughs> I put you all of my emotions something. into reading this book because I wanted to really like this book. You ain't, you ain't so feeling wonderful. it. You ain't feeling it. Uh-uh. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. I ain't never reading this man's book. <laughs> no more. I'm done with him. Okay. Okay. So we get to the point now, ladies, where we have to decide. Okay. Uh, what we said, one through ten. What, what, what score would you give it, Tanya? One through ten, what would, would I give this book? Yes. <laughs> Three? Oh, a three. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, oh no. Fine. I hated it. I just did not like it. I did not like anything okay. about it. So I'll give it a five. Okay. And right. She would. Okay, so what was the other question we asked? Was like, okay, so based off of based off of this book, based off of this book, would you read, would you read the rest of his catalog? 
Charles at? No. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so there you have it. <laughs> well, thank again, you. thank you guys so much for joining in our conversation. We had a blast. If you um, follow the link below, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the link below for our Facebook page because we also do the after party. Woo! Oh, well, we can turn up a little bit more and, you know and ask a little uh, and, and maybe dwell into some spoilers or some other stuff. So follow us onto our Facebook page. The link is below. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, I heard that. <laughs>